le, le sentiment le plus simple pour décrire ce que je vis sur de la ligne, c'est la liberté. Nathan Paulin sur une sangle. Du monde de Slackline et l'invité du supplément. Si Nathan Paulin est... Il m'a promis donc... deux choses. Nathan Paulin. Nathan Paulin. Nathan Paulin. Nathan, 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 Nathan Paulin. 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 Nathan a friend, a climber, he came with this small line and when I did my first step, I was only doing this for days and days and days. <laughs> I started on the ground and then bigger and bigger and bigger. When I'm on the line, I'm really uh, in the present time and that's what I love. It's a kind of meditation for me. My team is uh, like kind of a big family. I'm the best of the world to bring many guys to help me doing that because I can't do it alone. It's impossible to do what I do alone. Walking on the line is just the end of the process. And when I do the last step on the line, I finish a really bigger thing than just walking. And I share that always with many people. It's thin, it's light. It's in the air and it's between two points, no stabilization. Every motion that your body do is going in the line and is coming back to you. The only thing you, you face is yourself. Be able to cross this kind of line, it's a mental fight. You always need to think that you are able to do it, but sometimes it's windy, it's moving, but when everything is hard, you need to convince yourself that you can do it. The more you are close to the end, the more you, you don't want to fall. The feeling when I'm on the line, it's almost impossible to describe it. Sometimes I feel really powerful when I do that, but sometimes I also feel really small and I feel like I'm nothing. Being able to do that makes me feel free. I was afraid of heights when I was young. Now I'm able to walk in the air and doing that is thinking both.